Hey, what's up YouTube? What's up? Uh, it's been a while. So, this event is over. The bound sale is over. I don't know what you guys got, but this event blew my mind. People, it blew my mind. I, I really hope you guys uh, had a chance to uh, enjoy that. Because TQ gave us basically almost um, a free P6 perm with all the perm stones. It's crazy. Not to mention, I didn't need it for my main character, but I used it on my uh, Archer Hunter. I got the, whatever it's called, um, Tough Drill, and I got him a second socket on one of his bound items, which is fucking crazy. They gave you a free second socket. Even two, three, if you were that lucky. Um, and that was pretty mental. And I really hope you guys um, really took advantage of this uh, event because it was crazy. Uh, anyway, so I've been um, buying some permanent stones off the market since they were cheap because of uh, the event. So now I can P7 my boots, which are already P6 perm because uh, TQ gave it to us so now let's see let's take one of those yes I want uh, I want boots fox boots dragon boots I absolutely I have absolutely no idea crane boots what all right, all right, all right, all right. let's just I'll just uh, hold on for a second let's go for the ranking and let's see Let's see, let's see how the hell it's called. Alright, it's called... It does not say, it's a fox. Alright, fox boots. Sure, let's get the fox boots. Fox is a strike. Great, thank you very much, Luca Ita, for that. <laughs> Alright, let's get the boots. Fox boots. Yes, strike. Yes, I do. Thank you very much. Now, let's just... Uh, Take a few mess scrolls and up the damn thing. Now it's not going to be a lot of, uh, it's not going to matter that much, I guess. It's only one crit that it adds to, but um, the thing is, boots are hard to find. So the boots P7 soul and they cost more money than the weapons. So the weapons are a lot easier to find. So I decided it's better to uh, do this to perm the boots than to uh, do the rest. Like buy tons of uh, P7 soul uh, boots. Uh, it's just a lot easier just getting a lot of weapons instead of one weapon, one boot, and then making one of my weapons uh, P7 perm. So that's why I did that. Uh, you know, the weapons will get permed in time. Uh, as you can see, I have five CPs left. I do have a bunch of uh, bound CPs, but uh, sadly, the event is over, and even if it wasn't over, I already bought all the perm stones that I could with the bound CPs. So, yeah. There's not much I can do about that, but I mean it's better than uh, nothing, right? I mean it's free P6 sperm. So yeah, now we have 199.3 critical strike, and oh right, so the new thing I wanted to uh, show you guys, my counter is 228.5, which is nice, but what I'm doing, not this, I'm doing I've changed my stage 3 from P attack to anti break. So right now it's a 99. It should, I'm missing about 8 more or 9 more uh, anti break. I should be around um, at the end when I, when I fix it all uh, epic. It should be 237 or so. Um, just to. I decided I. I do need the attack, of course, but 
uh, I do need the anti-break because if I'm already going for anti-break um, build I might as well get as much anti-break as possible because uh, you know what's the point of having 200 anti-break if some random ninja come with 220 and just breaks you the hell up uh, so 230 Seven should be enough for most ninjas. I don't. Th There's not many ninjas or archers that have more than 230 uh, break. Some do. Some have 240, but rarely, rarely you see them. Um, plus, I can always get uh, two more anti-break um, from here. I'm using a level five, so I can technically go to 239. Uh, anti-break. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, it's it's not it's not. Uh, I don't know if, I don't know if I want to spend that much money on uh, level six uh, counteraction for the bag. Uh, it's two more. It's nice. It's good, but it's a lot of money. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to show you the um, the thing. So I do hit a lot less. As you see, my attack is thirty uh, three blah thirty k up to thirty three k. And it might dip into the 29 when I uh, get rid of the last one. The last one gives me 240 pit tax, so it should go down. But I still hit like um, a truck f uh, against most people. And if not like a truck, then like a little minivan, which uh, still hits pretty hard, right? I mean, if you ever get hit by a minivan, they still hit pretty hard. So uh, yeah, this is, so far this build has been uh, pretty good. Um, I do hit a little bit less, but I have not found it to matter that much. Um, in PvP, I've been uh, practicing a lot. I've been doing a lot of arena and uh, team qualifier just for uh, you know practice uh, and see what the new build does and how much less damage I do and how much less damage pe people do on me. Um, and so far, it's been a pretty nice, good, good um, results. I've been getting good results. Um, so yeah, I got. I really, really hope you guys um, had the chance to use this event to the fullest. Uh, I, I think I did. I bought all the perm stones on both uh, characters. This and my uh, archer. And I made another socket, like a second socket on his item. Uh, that's I wasn't lucky. I could have made maybe two, but I wasn't lucky, and I ran out of uh, bouncy peas. So he got only one item, two sockets. Pretty good still. Uh, yeah. So I don't know when they're gonna do another event like this. Uh, hopefully, in the next couple of months. And if you guys still haven't joined the bound item bandwagon then you should definitely, definitely join it. I mean, look at the last couple of months. TQ have been giving us endless amount of bound CPs. Endless. It was insane. The amount of bound CPs we got in the last six months is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. It's about, I don't know, insane amount. And um, yeah, if you haven't got yourself any bound items, you should, you should. Um, especially uh, with the champion points combined with the bound item with the bound uh, CPs we get it's a lot of resources you guys can use so use it I mean I know that um, there's a big stigma on bound items oh you cannot move them to different characters blah 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 you cannot sell them listen guys the game is going to where TQ does not want us to change items and sell items. They want us to keep the items we have. Look at perfection system. The longer time passes, the more perfection system people use and the higher level it gets. It means that you're gonna have to pay more if you wanna trade that item because just to, owe, to change ownership is gonna cost a lot more if you have a lot of um, progress on that item. 
So right now it's not that much, and still sometimes I see some really shitty items, um, like plus three necklace, one socket, but has it has five star in the perfection system, and then just to change the ownership costs you more than the price on the actual item. So we're going to a situation where no one is gonna trade that many items. So there's nothing wrong with having a few bound ones. Like if you still, if you're not convinced, start with something that you do, you will never need to move to a different character or something that you will, you will never want to sell because it doesn't matter if you change class or not, you will always need it. Like, um, like the crop, start with the crop. Everyone needs the crop. You know, start with it. You can buy a regular Super 1 from the shopping mall with bouncy peas. It costs you absolutely nothing. Well, you know what? It might cost you 200 and something, 280 or something, 270 to get the minus uh, one damage. Or you can just buy or farm uh, tortoise, like five tortoise gems. But it's just pay easier to just pay the 270. That's it. You can get a free plus 12 super crop. And you don't need to move it anywhere. You really, really don't. You can just leave it on your item, on your character. People don't change characters that much. So, and it's, it's really what you can actually just do another one bound on your other character and just have two bound ones on both characters. It's fine. You can still, you can do that. And it's not gonna, it's not, it's not gonna cost you nothing costs you basically nothing. The reward on the cost here is ridiculous. So, I mean, if you don't want to go like me, doing uh, like seven items bound, fine, that's your choice. But not, not, ha not having any bound item at all is just a waste, a massive waste of resources. Massive waste of resources. Plus, um, I don't know when they're going to do the next bound item sale, but when they do it, I'm gonna get me another bound item. I'm gonna get me uh, a necklace to replace the bag. And yeah, it's gonna cost me a, a, a little bit uh, to change ownerships uh, and move all the, do the whole switcheroo thing and move all the stars from the bag to the necklace, but it's not that much. Um, right now it's just eight stars. And hopefully they will do another bound item sale in the next couple of months. Hope maybe Christmas. Who knows? Um, hopefully. So yeah, if you guys still undecided about buy bound items, dudes, do get just get some bound items. It's worth it. Look at all the shit TQ is giving us for free, just because they're trying to do the transformation of the game to make people have more bound items. Trust me, it's it's worth it. It's really worth it. Even if you, in the end, do not want to use it, it's still worth having, and it costs nothing. I, I keep having these arguments with people, oh, your items are bound, I don't want bound items. Why the fuck not? You have one character. You haven't moved anything in your character in years. Why do you not want to have a bound item. You can up it for free. For free. Perfection and regular um, progress. It's crazy. It's crazy, people. Just do it. At least one item. You don't have to go crazy bananas like I did with all these bound, like six bound items, seven bound items. But at least the wings, the crop, um, the steed. You can get... Look, look at my steed. It's... 57k lineage and it's bound and it's I, I, I made it for fucking free free people free and in this server there's maybe less than 10 people that can dismount me and I did it for free free people there's a saying if um, if they give you something take it if they hit you run I I'm, I'm not sure from which language it came from, but it's very simple. TQ is giving us all this free bound shit. Take it, use it, use it. You can make in less than a week. Some of you, yeah, not I'm not talking about everyone who's uh, plus twelve. I'm talking about 
regular players, maybe they have plus sevens, plus sixes. In one week, you can get to a plus six item with down CPs and champion points. Use it, people. Use it. It's uh, definitely worth it. Um, yeah, and uh, obviously it's not going to be the last time I'm telling you guys about this, but if you haven't utilized this insane, insane event right now, then you lost a lot of resources that other people gained. And you know how this game works. You don't, if you don't uh, use your resources that the game gives you and other people do, they're going to dumpster you in not a long time. They're going to rape you in not a long time. If people catch on to this, and they should, then we should, be, should have a lot more stronger people. You need to break the stigma. Bound items are no longer the shittiest items ever. Because now you can actually plus 12 them. You can, look, all the, all the, all, all, most of my bound items are, are the highest on my um, perfection because it's easy to up them with champions and bound CPs. Everything else needs to fucking wait until I get regular, uh, you know, th 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 those um, stones you get every day, like five stones, six stones. So it takes a fucking week to just not even get half a star. Although in with bound items, you can just boom, go to champions, save for f save for a week, and then boom, go three stars in one one shot. So uh, yeah, I really hope you guys uh, rethink bound items. It's not bad at all. Uh, you guys should really, really use this. Or not. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm all for helping you guys out. But, uh, you know, if you guys don't want to do it, it's fine by me. I'm just going to stay here and uh, rape you all. So, good luck and GG. <laughs>